Hi everybody, it's Emily with Local Tasting Tours. Welcome to our podcast. We're excited about a new season of tours in 2013 featuring small locally owned restaurants in Halifax. Today we're recording our podcast here at Tess on Charles Street, just off Agricola. And we're here with the owner, Liz Cunningham. I'm really intrigued with how Tess has changed recently. Your your menu is expanded. There's so many things to choose from. We opened originally uh, three years ago uh, as a crepery. We kept the crepes on the menu, calling them Tess's Classic Crepes. They're still very popular. But some people had misperceptions about crepes, and they thought of them more as breakfast or sweets, not so much as dinner. So we just recently, uh, with our fall menu, expanded and offered non-crepe entrees and to try and just... Uh, change your image a little bit. I understand you're proud of being a Halifax neighborhood restaurant. Growing up in New York, whether you lived in the Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, it didn't matter. There were neighborhood restaurants everywhere. When I moved to Halifax 12 years ago, if you wanted to go out and have a sit-down meal with a glass of wine, you had to go downtown. Uh, And then Jane's opened a couple of years later, and then Brooklyn Warehouse, and now we're here, and there's a few more on the way right here in the, uh, the North End neighborhood. And I think Caledonians are really taken to the idea of being able to walk from their house to a nice, cozy neighborhood spot where they can get some good food, good friendly service at reasonable prices. It's a beautiful building, very eye-catching. And you uh, named the restaurant after your mom, is that right? That's right. Tess was my mother's name. Uh, It was originally Shea Tess. We just dropped the Shea recently. Tess was, it's it's short and easy to remember, and uh, Tess was who I named it after, so that's what we... uh, Uh, we went with recently. Um, Our guest today is Saskia Rock. She's um, Saskia Rock Aesthetics, located within Foxy Moon Hair Gallery, and that's on Agricola Street as well. Delighted to have you here, Saskia. And um, are you a bit of a foodie yourself? Uh, Coming from a Polish-Austrian background, I love to cook. I enjoy uh, all types of foods, especially here at Tess. It's fantastic. Do you live in the North End yourself? I do. I live I live just a few blocks from here, so it's great. I love the North End. And I know you're very busy. Um, I understand you're kind of known for your pedicures and a special uh, extra that you add into the mix. I do. I love pedicures. I love looking after feet, um, but I, I really want to get the maintenance done, but then really focus on the massage. People love my foot and leg massage. Sounds very relaxing. What are a couple of the other Um, services that you provide, Saskia? Uh, I provide uh, full manicure, pedicures, uh, body waxings, uh, facials, and I also um, provide a really nice uh, back facial, which is very relaxing. It also comes with a really nice massage. It's unique. And I understand that you're getting some features together for the Christmas season. You can check my Facebook page, which is uh, S Rock Aesthetics. We'll have some some really nice features coming up. We'll have uh, gift certificates available as well, which make really nice gifts. It's a little treat for someone to look forward to. I'm looking at this beautiful dish. This is one of your crepes. Coquille Saint-Jacques. Uh, it's been on the menu since we the day we opened. It's one of our most popular dishes. It's available on the lunch and the dinner menu. It looks like your crepes are made with buckwheat. Yes, they are. They're made with a combination, actually, of buckwheat and all-purpose flour, but we also have available made with 100% buckwheat. Many of our items uh, have gluten-free uh, fillings, and the gluten-free crepes are available as well, and people seem to really appreciate that option. It's such a beautiful presentation with a slice of lemon and um, and the gorgeous fresh local salad. And um, Saskia, I could tell you were enjoying it. I noticed some mushrooms there. Uh, well, again, first of all, the presentation is beautiful. The scallops are perfectly cooked. They're wonderful. And um, the mushroom cream sauce, just herbed. It's, it's delicious. You can taste a bit of everything in it and this is a specialty my father makes every Christmas Eve as well and uh, it's just it's right up there with his which is quite a compliment. (laughs) I was intrigued when I looked at your menu about this special waffle with raisins and bacon is that right? We have quite an extensive uh, brunch menu and we are very pleased this year actually that we won bronze in the the coast best of uh, for brunch and that's the apple bacon raisin uh, waffle 
And so they put the uh, the Granny Smith apples and raisins and uh, Brothers double smoked bacon in the batter. We also, uh, you can get the crepes Benedict wrapped in a crepe on a Belgian waffle or on a homemade tea biscuit. Who's your chef right now, Liz? We have a collaborative team in the kitchen. Uh, Mike Cullen, who's been with us almost three years, Christopher Spencer, Courtney Boudreau, uh, and I like to have some input on the menu as well. We're a very small place, a very small kitchen, because everybody, let's face it, brings different strengths to the table and I, I believe that everybody working to their strengths is the best uh, for the restaurant. Thank you both. I like to finish up with a couple of questions and um, Saskia, I thought maybe because of your background we'd ask you if uh, you had any favorite foods from your childhood um, that p- come to mind. It's hard to pick just one again coming from a Polish-Austrian background. I mean everything was delicious but uh, definitely I remember the borscht, the beet soup. You know we grow our own beets and it's just a never had a better one at home and my mother would make Polish uh, ushka which is a dumpling which is when rolled out and boiled they fold up and they look like pig's ears so both my brothers and I loved it and Liz you have a, a food that came to mind from your childhood too is it connected with your mom I remember when I was a kid and we would after a big holiday dinner or a big Sunday dinner we'd have relatives over and I come from an Irish uh, background, uh, there'd be leftover mashed potatoes and she would form the, after they'd be cold the next day and she'd form them into a round disc and fry them up in a hot cast iron skillet with lots of butter and just crisp it up on both sides and um, that was always a treat. So when we opened, uh, I just always loved those. I hadn't had them in years. Oh, we have to do Tess's potato cakes. So we've, um, fiddled around. It's not exactly the way my mother used to make them. She used to put flour in them, which we don't anymore, which is great for the gluten-free customers. Uh, but we put some bacon fat in yeah. them, which is really, really awesome. There's a young gentleman here who's working pretty hard. My name is Anthony Reynolds, and my favorite dish, the only dish, is the crepes Benny with the bacon and brie Benny. Did you say brie? Yes, bacon and brie. It was the best texture combination on the menu. Crispy bacon, soft brie, softly poached eggs. How can you ever go wrong? That blows my mind. I gotta try that. Thank you both so much. Um, Saskia, how can people find you? Is there a number where they can call if they want to have a manicure or another service? Yes, they can call 444-7675. And I'm also on Twitter. Liz, well, you take uh, reservations for dinner, I know. We're at 5687 Charles Street. That's just off Agricola behind Smith's Bakery. And our phone number is 406-3133. We do take uh, dinner reservations. And we also have a Facebook uh, page and a Twitter account as well. Okay, thank you both so much. I really appreciate it. This is Emily with Local Tasting Tours. Look for our new Halifax food tours in 2013 starting in June. Take a tour. Take a bite out of Halifax.